In today's video we're going to be making a Christmas ornament. We're going to be using some dolly pegs. I got these from Hobbycraft, they're a backup eight. I've spray painted them white and I've also cut one down. So I've taken approximately, I've cut these down by approximately three quarters of an inch or two and a half centimeters. And I've got one of these little chaps here, and they are. I got them, they're called they're called uh, in the UK, they're called boy game pieces. Um, but you should be able to get these from your craft store as well. So, I've um, spray painted those white. You're going to need some decorative snowflakes, these are the ones stocked in my store, and these ones I have in my stash. You're going to need a couple of the miniature top hats which you can get from my store in packs of six so you're going to use some of those you're going to need some gems and i'm going to use one of these flowers as a fascinator for the lady snowman you're going to need some ribbons you're going to need some hot glue and you'll need a pair of tweezers you'll also need some orange um, liquid pearls or um, some pearl effect depending on where you get them this is rangers and i've also got uh, dove craft but i don't have the, the orange of the dove craft so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to glue on our little hat on the dad i'm just going to put some hot glue on the underside of this hat and i'm going to have it so you just see the front part here not these not the side part and I'm going to pop it on. I also want to just put a little bit of this burgundy ribbon around his hat. So I'm going to find out what length I need. And I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to attempt to put a little bit of hot glue on here. I'm going to do it on my side A4 mat because I don't want to ruin this mat so I want to keep this mat as pristine as I can no it didn't get any on there so I have to put it on the hat I'm just going to put a little bit around the rim of the hat and we, okay so that's the just a t little touch of uh, ribbon round the dad's head. I'm just going to get rid of this some of this excess hot glue. Okay. Right. And then using the art glitter glue, I'm going to put two dabs of the glue once I've got rid of the dry glue that's there at the top two dabs one dab two dab and then I'm going to use the black gems from this gem pot and they're going to be his eyes these are so tiny you probably won't be able to see it I'll do my best to show it on camera. Okay, and then using a Sharpie, I'm going to do the dots for his mouth. Sharpies are available in my store also. Okay, now we need to give him a scarf. I think I'm going to use this gingham ribbon for his scarf. Just pop a bit of hot glue around the neck. Making sure that I can tie this as well. You don't have to put the hot glue there. Once you tie it on, it's not going anywhere. But if you want a bit of security, then you can pop the hot glue there. Okay, I think I might 
might do a double knot for this little chap. Okay, I'm going to have one of his tails of his scarf come over here. So I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue there just to hold the scarf in place. And then this one I think I'm going to have trailing down. So again just a bit of hot glue just to secure the scarf in place. There we go. And then back to the arc glitter glue for his buttons. Now it's entirely up to you how many buttons you want to put on your snowman. I think I'll go with four. So that's our little, little snow daddy. Now when it comes to the mummy, I think I'm going to use the red scarf or the red bit of ribbon for a scarf. I'm going to do the same thing, cut it into to length. I'm going to give her a shorter scarf. And I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue where I want it to sit. I'm going to have this bit over here. Using the acrylic flowers, I'm going to give her a fascinator. I think, I think I'm going to go for the dark blue because I like the dark blue and red. I think they go nice together. So I'm just going to hot glue that onto the side there, just so it looks like she's got a fascinator hat on. again giving her some eyes. Okay then back to the Sharpie. I'm going to do the dots for her mouth too. Okay so that's mummy. Now it comes, oh, let me just put some dots on for her buttons. I'm only going to put two for the mummy. Two buttons and further up than I did the, the daddy. Okay, now it comes to the cheeky little chappy. I'm going to give him a hat as well. some hot glue on the underside of the hat and I'm going to make his on the side so it's kind of jaunty. Some eyes and for the little chap I'm going to use the silver gems for his eyes instead of the black This um, tweezer is also available from my store. Okay, and I'm just going to put two buttons. These gems are flat on one side and then faceted on the other, but they are very tiny, so I'm not. I'm not I, I wouldn't be surprised if you can't see them. So he looks like that. 
I'm not going to give him a scarf, I don't think. But I am going to give him a very big smile. Okay. Let's pop all these things out of the way. And now it comes to the, um, the background. So I'm going to use the largest snowflake from this pack. If I have one. Yep, there he is. I'm going to use one of these red ones. Okay, so I'm going to, this has got a ring in it, so that'd be the top of my ornament. Put some hot glue in the center. I'm going to pop this in the center of that snowflake. Make sure it's not ruining my board because I really want this board to be clean and pristine for you when I'm doing videos because I really didn't like the way my other one was looking. Okay, now I'm going to glue my snow family together. So I'm gonna run some hot glue down the side and stick mummy and daddy together. Just hold them there while the glue dries. Okay, and then our little cheeky chappy is going to go down here. So I need to put some glue just at the bottom here for him to sit in. And I need to attach this trio, this Snow Family trio. Put some glue on the back. And I'm going to attach it to the snowflakes. And I've done, I've, I've um, purposely left the noses to the last minute because obviously pushing these down, I might damage the, um, the noses. Okay, and now it comes to the noses and I'm just going to zoom you in. Okay, now the noses, I'm going to use this um, paralyzed got to unblock it I'm going to use this pumpkin liquid pearl okay and I'm going to give them a three-dimensional nose by bringing the liquid pearl up I'm drawing it up so it gives it a 3d effect Let's do mummy. And I'm just wiping off the nozzle each time. So they t it t it's going to take a good while for this to dry. Mummy's nose kind of bent back on herself, which is fine. I'll just, there we go. So these are going to take a while to dry. So I'd leave them to dry safely to one side for at least 24 hours. And then you end up with this. And you get solid noses, 3D noses. I hope that shows up on camera, okay. But here's one I made earlier. And here's one with the red background. I, th I think it needed another snowflake, so I decided to use some of these red ones in the background. But here's today's video, guys. I, I really hope you recreate this. I would love to see it. If you do recreate it, please share it over on G's Creations and Elf Creations on Facebook. I would really love to see it. Thank you for joining me, Crafters, and I will see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.